Okay, let us continue our lesson on linear motion graphs. Okay. So here's the question I taken from PSPM 2015-2016. Okay, we look at question 2B. Okay, now you will have a velocity time graph. This is a velocity graph. Velocity graph. Now let, let us read the question together. So, uh, figure 1 shows the velocity time graph. Okay, this is a velocity time graph of a toy train moving on a straight track in uh, 55 seconds. Okay, total journey, 55 seconds. Determine the time, okay, the time and the acceleration A, acceleration A. At point P, okay, at this point, yeah, point P, when the velocity is zero, okay, we know that here uh, the velocity is zero, okay, at this point. So how, okay, uh, how to find this? Okay, now this is a uh, first we find the acceleration. Okay, I think it's easier to find the acceleration first. Uh, acceleration. How to find acceleration? This is a velocity time graph. From velocity time graph. The acceleration actually is the dvdt. Ah, it means acceleration is the gradient. Gradient of velocity time graph. Ah, the gradient of velocity time graph. So at point P, at point P, uh, what's the acceleration? Ah, that means at point P, find the gradient. Ah, I mean find the gradient. Uh, this triangle, the gradient of this straight line, yeah, the gradient of the gradient of this straight line. Understand? So, so at, we can actually find the triangle. Huh? Means the this one. You can use this tr big triangle. Okay. Find the gradient of this big triangle. Uh, that means we take this point, this point, and this point. Understand? Uh, so how to find? The gradient of this straight line, so is uh, uh we use the value of zero point eight, uh, negative eight, twelve, and then uh, forty, twenty two. Understand? Uh, so how? Negative eight minus twelve divided by forty minus twenty two. Okay. Uh, v minus u over t. Yeah? Acceleration. Okay. Uh, so. Is the gradient of the velocity time graph. Understand? Okay, let us do it. So the the answer should be the gradient, uh, dvdt. So it is um, negative 8, negative 8 minus um, 12. Okay, negative 8 minus 12 divided by uh, 40 minus 22. Okay. Uh, 40 minus 22, uh, that's a gradient, the dvdt, okay? Uh, so how, how to do it? Now uh, here we have negative 20 divided by 18, so finally we get what answer? Uh, the answer is negative 1.11 meter per second square. Uh, that's our acceleration. Okay? Very simple, isn't it? Uh, DVDT. Next, we want to find the time. Okay? We want to find the time. Time at point P. Uh, time at point P. So, what's the time there? Okay? What's the time there? So, we want to find the time. The time here. Uh, we don't know the time. So, how, how are we going to do? Uh, okay. We can use the... Value acceleration we got just now negative one point one one, and then we can set the initial velocity. Uh, we can uh, we assume the we take this as the first point. We take this as zero second. Uh, we take that as the initial. We take that as initial point, which is u equal to twelve meter. Uh, sorry. Uh, twelve meter per second okay 12 and then um final velocity is final velocity is zero so
So find the time taken at P. Uh, so we can say like that. Uh, like that. The time at the time of 22 seconds, we take that as 0 second. Uh, the velocity at that time is 12. 12. Okay. Uh, so we can say the velocity at the time 32 second is 12. Okay. We set that as uh, 0 second. Okay. We set that as 0 second. Okay. Uh, final velocity at uh, final velocity at p is 0 meter per second. Okay. And the acceleration we got just now is. Um, just now we got negative 1.11 meter per second square, isn't it? Uh, so we can use the formula of um, V equal to U plus AT, isn't it? Uh, to find the time at point P. Uh, so we just substitute. Actually, this, uh, this formula come from this formula is similar to this formula V minus U over T. Uh, this this formula come from uh, this formula. Okay, final velocity is zero. Initial velocity is twelve plus. Just now we got acceleration negative one point one one, and find the time t. Uh, finally, we will get the our time equal to ten point eight one second. Uh, that's our time. You understand? Uh, ten point eight one second. So what is means by ten point eight one second? Uh, it means that just now we taken uh, 22 seconds as 0 second and velocity here is the initial velocity. Yeah, initial velocity is 12. So the time we calculated until point P uh, with the, the uh, 10.18 second means the time calculated from 22 seconds. That means here. Uh, that means here. From here to here. Uh, this is the time we calculated just now, uh, 10.81 second. Okay, when the velocity reaches, when the velocity reaches zero, understand? Uh, okay. So we can say uh, at uh, at time. Okay. So finally, we can say um, here. Okay, finally we can say the time, the time at here, time P is actually um, uh, 22 plus, 22 plus 10.8181, which is 32.81 second. Ah, so the time P is 32.81 second. Ah, that's our time. Okay, ah, so... So the, this is not the actual time. The actual time you, you should plus the, uh, you know, ten point eight one plus twenty two, because just now we take the twenty two second as uh, as our initial time, uh, so we must add back to get add back the initial time. So the time this is the time p yeah, thirty two point eight one second. That's our time. Understand? Okay. Now. Uh, that's a that's the thirty two point eight one second is the time at point P. Okay, now uh, is the total distance traveled by the train less than equal or greater than its total displacement? Justify your answer using calculation. Okay, now he asked for the total distance. Yeah, highlight. So he asked for total distance compared to total displacement. So distance is the total path, yeah? total path, total displacement is the shortcut. So we need to calculate uh, distance and displacement. So how to calculate distance, distance from this velocity time graph? Uh, this is a, don't forget this is a velocity time graph. So to find distance or displacement, we need to refer to the area under the graph, okay? Uh, area under the graph, uh, which is I, I highlight this one. Area under the graph, this one. Ah, okay. Uh, so all these are displacement. But don't forget, uh, for distance, we regard both area as positive. But for displacement, 
for distance, we regard both area as positive, but for displacement, the area above is positive, area below is negative. Okay, let's calculate the area. Okay, so total distance is all area of velocity time graph. We regard as positive because no direction, we just regard magnitude. Yeah, distance is scalar quantity. So, both of these are trapezium. So, we use the trapezium formula. So, how to do it? Yeah, let's do it together. So, um, half times, okay, how long is it? Uh, from 0 to P, P is 32.81. So, that means uh, uh, above here, the, the here, above here is uh, 12, okay, and the length here is also 12, okay. So, we can say uh, half, um, from here to here is 32.18, yeah? just right here. Here is 32.81 from, from uh, 0 to P. Uh, so, so we can write here uh, 12 plus 32.81 times 32.81 uh, and then times 12. Okay, uh, that's the first area plus plus what? Uh, here is um, from 32.81 up to 55. How, how long is this? How long is this? So after we minus, we will get um, 22. We can say that uh, area is a, or this is a 22.19. Uh, yeah. Below here, this one is a 3. And then here is Eight. Uh, okay. Eight. So okay. Let's uh, calculate. Let's calculate half times um twenty two point one nine plus uh, three times eight. Okay. So finally, yeah, all positive. Huh? So we will get three six nine point six two meter. Uh, that's our distance. Total distance. Okay. Remember, all positive. Now find the total displacement. Yeah, after that we can compare. Now find the total displacement. Uh, so for total displacement, a bit different. We will regard the area above is positive displacement, area below is negative displacement. Yeah, here is positive, here is negative because we regard this one as negative eight. Uh, this one is negative eight instead of just eight. Okay. Now uh, let's calculate. We yeah, regard area above is positive, area below is negative. Why like that? Because positive and negative means direction. Understand? Direction. Displacement is a vector. Vector has direction. So, okay, let's do. So, just now, um, um, so take the half area on top is 32.18 uh, plus 12 uh, times 12. And then plus half uh, below just now is 22.19 plus 3. Ah, but the thing here, the area below, uh, just now we put uh, this one. Just now we put this one as uh, positive 8, isn't it? We put as positive 8, right? For distance, for distance, we put as positive 8. But this time for displacement, we put as negative 8. Because here, got this, uh, there is a negative, you see? Here there's a negative. Uh, so we put as negative 8 instead of just 8. Okay? Distance we put positive 8, but displacement we put what? We put negative 8. And we put as negative. There is a negative here. That's why, that's why the area below here become negative. Uh, because this is a negative 8, negative 8. Understand? I uh, hope you understand. Huh? Here you got negative. There's a difference between distance and displacement. Distance put positive, displacement put negative. So uh, finally we will get the answer. Um we will get the answer 168.1 meter after calculation. Okay? So definitely displacement is less, less than distance. Yeah? You see? Uh, so we can say the displacement displacement is less than 
distance is more than displacement because di this distance just now we got what we got we got a three six nine point six two meter but displacement is just displacement is just one six eight point one meter yeah uh, because uh, distance is total path displacement is shortcut uh, so of course it, of course like that okay so you uh, let's compare uh, distance more than displacement yeah? and this is our proof okay so i hope you enjoy our lesson today and you understand okay please subscribe my channel share it to your friends thank you bye see you again